We're up here overlooking Denver, Colorado. A special place to me and a friend that I lost about three months ago in a car accident. Colorado was a really special state to him, so I'm bringing him back. We're playing a show tonight at Red Rocks. It's probably his favorite venue. A song that Zach wrote for Lance called Lance's Song. We're gonna we're gonna play tonight as well, but um, this last little bit's for Lance. Lance's song was um, was a song written in homage to a very dear friend of the band. Lance was a, a good buddy of mine for many years. I, I played in a band with him. Um, we traveled all over the country. We I, it must have been four or five years that I was in a band with him. He and I were probably best friends. He was just a great guy, and he was a, he was a local musician and played. Played all over the place with Jimmy, used to be in a band with Jimmy. Played with me a bunch of times and he's just always been around, one of our good friends. Always just loved seeing him. He loved music as much as anybody I've ever seen. Maybe more than me, which is a lot. When we were in a transitional period with drummers, Lance came out on the road with us and Lance was a huge part of the, uh, um, the music scene in Atlanta. He was great friends with Jimmy. He was great friends with all the guys in the band and uh, he played music with us, he came out on the road. For me, it was, it was me introducing a good friend of mine from the past to, to the Zac Brown Band, and, and uh, everybody quickly took to him. One night he was, um, he was uh, playing a gig in Tennessee, and uh, he was driving back and fell asleep at the wheel, and, and he crashed and died, and um, it was really tough. It was tough for me, and it was tough for his family, and it still is. Nick Cowan and Zach uh, wrote a song shortly after he passed, and um, we actually debuted it a couple months later at Red Rocks in 2010, and um, we, we haven't played it very often, but it's, it's just a, it's a real fitting tribute to him. Oh, man. You know, Lance's song, Jimmy may have mentioned it, he, he brought it up, Lance's song, we got our final mix for Lance's song two years to the day that, that Lance died, and um, we, we miss him all the time. Although I did not know Lance, you know, an unfortunate accident like that, and obviously he had an impact on everybody around here, so I wanted to do it right, as much as possible. I could give to that. This song is uh, is one of the best songs I think Zach's ever written, and it's also a, um, a ode to a great friend of ours who uh, is no longer with us, which is kind of fucked up. But I'm really glad that it's going to be on the album because it uh, I think it would mean a lot to him, and I know it would mean a lot to me if if I wasn't around and somebody wrote a song about me. It lasts forever, you know. So. Lance is such a good guy. He was such a good guy. Um, proud to have that song on there in, in remembrance of him. You know, they, they believed, and a lot of different people throughout history, I believe that you're only immortal if you live on in people's memories. And I think he's definitely in our, in our thoughts and in our memories. And I, I hope that the song helps to, uh, to keep that and keep him, keep him alive in our, in our thoughts. Sometimes you can take, take for granted a band that you hear playing in the background and not realize that these guys are are giving it their all and they're gonna have to drive home in the middle of the night and and not be able to afford a hotel but but they give their life to music and um, that's what Lance did 